identifying big and small objects. Part 2 Hello kids! In the previous video, we saw some more examples of identifying small and big objects. In this video, we will see some more examples of identifying small and big objects and learn about common mistakes which should not be made. Today, Chotu and Pinky's maternal uncle brought two chocolates for them. Mom, give me one of these chocolates, please. Here, take Pinky. Mom, I want a big one because this one is too small. Children, here are the two chocolates that their uncle got for them. So kids, by looking at them, can you tell which of these does Pinky want? Yes, out of these two, this chocolate is bigger. So she wants to have this chocolate. And this chocolate is smaller than the other chocolate. Today, Chotu's mother is sitting in the room peeling some peas. Her plate is full. She tells Chotu, Chotu, just bring a small plate for me from the kitchen. Chotu goes to the kitchen to take the plate. But he does not understand which is the small plate. Hey, both these plates are smaller than this plate. So which plate should I give to mom? Chotu took all three plates to his mother and asked her, Mom, both these plates are smaller than this plate. So, which plate should I give you? Chotu, you are right. Both these plates are smaller than this plate. Can you tell me which is the smallest among them? Yes, mom. This plate is the smallest. Isn't it, mom? Yes, Chotu. You are absolutely right. Now put the other two plates back, please. Okay, mom. Children, did you see? This is the smallest plate among these three plates and this is the largest plate. So, hey kids, that's it for today. In this video, we learned to identify big and small objects. And I really hope you understood this topic properly. Okay then, bye kids.